We have details about the Festival of Lights event in Pokemon Go. I'm Alex Gum, aka Chicle, and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. The Festival of Lights event runs from Tuesday, November 7th at 10 a.m. to Sunday, November 12th at 8 p.m. local time. This event will debut Tabulb and its Evolution Belly Bolt, normally from the Paldea region. I'm really excited about Belly Bolt, to be honest. It is actually kind of cute. Also, we get some bonuses during this event. You get two times Stardust and two times Candy when hatching Pokemon from eggs. In addition, you get two times Incense duration, sadly excluding the daily adventure incense honestly this is like the 10th to 13th event ish in a row where we can't have extra duration for daily incense why is that it's becoming more dull and it's less motivating considering how like we couldn't get a galarian bird for months so what are we doing can we fix that event exclusive time research will focus on catching Pokemon and exploring around. If you complete some tasks before the end of the events, you do get some event-themed Pokemon. The following Pokemon will spawn during this event. Pikachu, Vulpix, Ponyta, Magnemite, Voltorb, Chinchou, Mareep, Slugma, Electrike, and Litwick. And some may even encounter Morlul and Tadbull. You also notice on the screen that there's a shiny symbol next to Morlul that means that if you're lucky, you can even get shiny Morlul in Pokemon Go. So during this five day event, we are obviously shiny hunting for this little guy. And yes, it is kind of hard to get this Pokemon since it is going to be a rare spawn. But don't worry, there are other ways how you can get Morlul and potentially shiny Morlul. Seven kilometer eggs. In the seven kilometer eggs during the event, you do get encounters for Elekid, Magby, Dedenne, and Morlo. And it also says that Morlo hatched from a 7 kilometer egg during this event will have a greater chance of being shiny than in the wild. We got lucky with Solosis during the Psychic Spectacular, so maybe it may happen again with Morlo. The following Pokemon will appear more frequently from Incense. And again, it's a two times duration, so this means that it's going to last for two hours. So use your Incense when there's a lot of time to kill. So Alolan Geodude will be encountered as well as Hisuian, Voltorb, Slugma, Volbeat, Illumise, Blitzel, Litwick, Litleo, Dedenne, Morlul, and Tabul. And finally we have some event field research tasks where you can get some encounters for Darumaka, Morlul, and Tabul. So yes, there are other ways to get Morlul encounters or shiny Morlul. So then that way, you don't have to worry about finding some in the wild because of how rare it is. Also, be on the lookout for Pokestop showcases where you can enter Litwick and or Tadbulb to try to be ranked number one to get some prizes. Also, to everybody in India, this event is based off of the holiday of Diwali, where you light up some lanterns and candles and you have fireworks. And there's also like a bunch of other fun festivities as well as celebration of the triumph of good over evil, light over darkness, and knowledge over ignorance. It is a very important holiday for the Indian culture, so because of that, India gets some extra bonuses. You get to have a collection challenge where you can be able to be rewarded some Stardust, XP, and Tadbulb. So if you're in India during this event, enjoy. In addition, you also get two times candy when catching any Pokemon. And ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up today's video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content. Hit the like button if you thought this was informational. And if you want to see more videos, be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when another video comes out. And also be sure to let me know in the comments below, what do you think about the Festival of Lights event? I like the Pokemon that are featured, and this is going to be a fun shiny hunt nonetheless. Well, thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Peace out.